Hi, I'm Gareth Evans. I'm a retired physics teacher, a pastor, a missionary, an itinerant for many years, traveling and speaking at youth conferences and pastors' conferences in many parts of the world. As I look back over my long life, I see so many stepping stones where God placed before me to direct me into walking into his will. I never saw them ahead of me, but I see many, many of them as I look back. And I'd like to share some of those stepping stones with you. Join me on this journey as I tell some of my stories. God bless you. I spent four wonderful years in the house of Aubrey and Mary Evans. Don Evans and Russell became two very special friends. Don later became the world leading authority in medical ethics. Russell became the professor of metallurgy at the university. And it was a very godly, wonderful home to be in. I got my degree, an upper honours degree in physics, far better than I'd expected. And I could now apply for teaching positions. I was in no rush because I knew that they were looking for me and I didn't need to look for them so much. They were, they were, in those days, they were physics teachers and honours degrees were quite rare. And so I'm walking across the quad in university one day and my professor stops me. Mr. Evans, have you got a position yet? I said, no. He said, have you ever thought of Kenfrey Comprehensive School? Now, Kenfrey Comprehensive School was in the village right next door to the church I attended at that time in Bridgend, very near Bridgend. And I said, I didn't know they were looking for a physics teacher. Oh, yes, he said, look, he said, and he scribbles out and now he said, telephone this number. That evening I telephoned the number and uh, they arranged me to go up for an interview. And a few weeks later, I'm interviewed and I get the job at Kenfrey Comprehensive School, Head of Physics. I didn't even look for it. There were two other Christians on staff at Kenfrey Comprehensive, and Keith and Mary, and we formed a Christian union together. And uh, there for two years, and quite enjoyed it. I coached the rugby team, I was a member of the Debating Society, and I ran a Christian union, and God was good. And then I found an advertisement for physics teachers wanted by the British forces, different schools they had all around the world. And a career in the forces sounded very appealing to me as a civilian attached. And so I finally wrote to an office in London. I was called up for an interview in London for becoming a teacher with the British forces. The salary was great. The career prospects were wonderful. I'd be an officer, a captain, equivalents in the military. The interview went very well until suddenly the interviewer his eyebrows were raised and he stopped and he said, Mr. Evans, how long have you been teaching? I said, two years. Oh my goodness, he said, I'm sorry. He said, uh, five years minimum. We require five years minimum experience in our teachers. I didn't realize that when we called you up. I'm sorry. He said, we brought you up here on a false journey. He said, I'm sorry, I can't appoint you. He said, look, he said, if you apply again in three years time, I'll keep your f file on record and said, and we'll certainly be interested in three years time. I went on the train back to Wales, a three-hour journey, a little disappointed, but so that was just one of those things that happens. A couple of weeks later, I got a telephone call from this man. He said, Mr. Evans, we have a vacancy at a school in Germany. I'm wondering whether you'd be willing. The physics teacher had been promoted to vice principal of the school at Windsor Boys School in Germany. And uh, we, you're the only physicist we have on our books. Would you be willing to go? And I said, yes. And so my wife and I went to Germany to teach. In 1964, we arrived in Germany. Uh, not only was I three years less experience, but I'd also not done national service. That's another two years. So I was five years younger than any other teacher in the forces. A wonderful experience. We loved Germany very much. We made many wonderful, wonderful friends there. Among whom were a lot of Canadian friends. On Sundays, we attended a Salvation Army, a Canadian Salvation Army for an English-speaking service. And we delighted in our Canadian friends who, knowing I was a teacher, tried to persuade me to emigrate to Canada to teach in Canada. And because we liked them, we became interested in Canada. One day I discovered, I don't know whether they gave it to me in the paper or something, that Danforth Technical College in Toronto, quite a prestigious school, was looking for a physics teacher. So I wrote and applied. And to my amazement, I got the job. I was going to go to Danforth Technical College as a physics teacher, head of the physics department. And I was so pleased with this. 
I gave my notice into the British Army. I'd been with them now for nearly four years and I was waiting for instructions from Canada as to what date they expected me and how they would be doing for moving off home and, and they help for me. One day I get two letters. One of them is from the school to inform me that a mistake had been made that the Director of Education for Toronto being on vacation in Britain and had appointed a man in Britain for this vacant position at Danforth Technical College, not realizing, not knowing that the principal had already appointed me. Now, of course, if I'd been in Canada, I could have claimed it as a prior condition, but I wasn't in Canada. I was in Germany and uh, I was very upset, disappointed, angry. My testimony was not good. I felt embarrassed, wondering why God had allowed this to happen to me. I'd given my notice into this army position. I didn't have that anymore, and now suddenly I was left without a job. I opened the other letter. It was from the army and said, Mr. Evans, we are sorry to hear you leave in Germany. We're wondering whether you reconsider. We have a position for you in Hong Kong. Would you be willing to accept? So my disappointment turned into joy that God had provided an alternative. And so Anne and I went to Hong Kong. Wonderful, wonderful years. I met Jackie Pollinger, she was often at my home. I went with her into the Wall City. For a hobby, I studied New Testament Greek and did courses with London Bible College, simply out of interest as a physics teacher. Made some wonderful friends, American friends with the Christian and Missionary Alliance. I taught a course with Gurkha soldiers um, who came for Bible study. Wonderful, wonderful time. But it was not a career I could contain. It was, just, it was too, too nice. It was not good for career teachers. And I had a great career in front. I had a career in front of me. So after two years, I considered leaving. But that's another story. You may be wondering why I started told you this story of a great disappointment in my life. Does God bring about disappointments? Yes, because often they lead to His appointments. But that's a future story.